so far on Balance and Bias. I'm, I'm on this new TV show called The Jack and Triumph Show. I'm going to be on it. Now, if I was racist, now, now, would I have done that? Now, 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 now. Put a ring on it, player. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I'm starting to get auditions quite often. Audition, which is a series regular on the new Netflix show tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's cool. But the thing is, my aunt is giving birth tomorrow. How about if I get the time, I want to stand like that here. It's not going to be in here, freak. I just told you that. And he can kiss my motherfucking ass. Yeah, I liked it better like that. So I just got done. Get me haircut. Let <laughs> me. Well, not an actual haircut. I'm doing the bald thing now. Bald is the it's a new wave. But um, yeah, I just got a I just got a little shape up, little little shape up. Trying something new now. My friend Perros, my my best friend Perros was like, "Damn man, you should probably you know grow your beard out." So Marlon said you should cut your hair bald. So my friends, I uh, guess they they are right. So I'm following what they're telling me to do as far as what I should do with my hair. But so I just got out the barbershop and right now I'm about to head to New York City. I have an audition for a new show, a new TV show. The role is it's a very good role. But unfortunately, they specifically said do not talk about the part don't talk about the show don't talk about anything about this project so i have to not do that and i'm going to follow their rules and guidelines because your boy don't want to get cut from something you didn't even get yet you know what i'm saying your boy don't want to get cut from something that he didn't even get yet if you know what i mean i'm about to uh head on to new york city right now Oh, actually, I want to go get a. I want to go get. I I I, I want to get something for my for my wardrobe for today. So I'm gonna try something. So I'm gonna do that first, and then I'm gonna go to the city. All right, I'm out. So I'm about to go inside of the thrift store and see if I find something that's gonna match my my wardrobe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you went to Lawrence. Yeah. When did you graduate? Oh, so you know Orlando Kane? Yeah, uh, I know his sister Noel, and so I used to play with her a lot. They live right down the street from us. Okay. And um, who else? Their little brother Nick Cannon. You know their um dad. Orlando dad? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I just found that out like a couple of weeks ago. Oh my god. That he passed away. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's now uh, Noel and I. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm Patrick. Oh, Patrick, I'm Mrs. Gaines. Mr. Gaines. Mr. Gaines. How you doing, Mr. Gaines? How are you making that? Not so bad, I can't complain. Just looking for a couple things so I can, well, one thing so I can get out of here. Yeah, they do. I don't like them for me. I don't like them for You might get more than one thing, spend too much money up here, right? Alright, alright, see you later. Let's go. So they don't have what I'm looking for. I'm going for a specific look right now, so I guess I gotta go to another location. Oh look at look at her. She was like, oh Diva, Diva. Oh I don't. No girlfriend. This is so illegal. I miss my turn. Ducking on the cops, I'm ducking, ducking on them cops. <laughs> so I'm still looking for this piece of, I'm, I'm, I'm going for a specific look right now. So I really, really, really just want this piece of outfit. That doesn't make any sense. I want this piece of clothing. I want this, I want this, I want it. Well, can I can't find it. So I just met a woman named Sharan inside of the thrift store and she asked me if I was in a relationship. No, I'm not in a relationship. No, not in a relationship. 
I never really spoke about my last relationship that I was in that you saw me on camera uh, a couple months ago with a, a woman. I just don't really have the time to really, I don't really care to really speak about it, but I don't have a long conversation with my um, with my big brother Marlon from Oklahoma. And my brother, he told me, he was like, yo, Pat, he was like, the best thing about all relationships are that you already know what you want and what you need for a new relationship. And so, like, I totally agree with him. I just know, like, from now on, and I'm going to take a little bit of time to actually get to, to know a woman before I just actually say, you know, let me get in a relationship, let me get in a relationship, let me, you know, we're cool, we're hanging out a little bit, we're talking a little more, this and that, and blah, 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 this. Nah, I'm not doing that this time. I actually want a friend. I want somebody who I know who's going to be there for me through the worst, who's going to be there for me through the best. I want somebody who's going to, like, you know, build me up spiritually and not tear me down mentally. Mentally. So, and driven. Gotta be driven. I know I'm a very driven and passionate person. So, we both have to match on that skill. If we don't, it's not worth being in a relationship with. For me, at least. Everyone is different, though. So, you know, it's, it's I feel like we all go through relationships to make us who we are. And if you look at everyone else, you know, some people, they have long relationships. A lot of people have short relationships. Some people stay hurt off of the same relationship. But I've come to realize that there is somebody that's out there that's gonna be better for you. There's gonna be somebody out there that's gonna make you happy. There's gonna be somebody out there that's gonna be a perfect fit. So, it's only timing that's, you know, that you have to go deal with. At the current time of relationship, of a breakup, it's gonna suck, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna like make you feel sad, like that's the last person in your life. It's gonna, it's gonna hurt. But the thing is about it is like, it's timing. Once you get through that, you know, a, a, a few months or however long you grieve through certain situations, you'll understand that that person is just not meant for you. That person is just not supposed to be there in your life. Not everyone's spirit is supposed to, you know, to match up with each other. So, yeah. Just got on the PAP train. Got about an hour, 20 minutes to get to this audition. Um, still looking for that, for that piece of garment. So I'm gonna go try one more store, maybe two if I have to, and then it's that time to go do what it do. <laughs> Their old navy here and listening to the classics. <laughs> he over here singing. <laughs> Got word, <laughs> So I just got a piece of what I needed. Now I need to get the other portion. I was just going to just do one portion, but then I had um, found something else that I thought it might, you know, make me stand out a little bit more. So, for the character, so I'm going to get something else to add on to it. Well, it looks like I'm just going to be rocking out with this. You know, everything was last minute with this audition, so um, can't find the vest that I was looking for. But I can't also go upside in the room with the camera and everything because it's strict rules. So, I'll see you after the audition. So I went in there and did my best. And all I could do right now is just say, God, come on, man. Come on, champ. Let's do what it do. Nah, but he had me do it twice. He wanted to see it two different ways. So we'll see what's up. Please watch some of our previous videos. Also, like, share, and subscribe.